this is to show you the difference in disconnecting your sway bars. First attempt was with the both front and rear sway bars hooked up. Second attempt was, was with just the front sway bars hooked up. And this last attempt was with both disconnected. And you can see that with all both sway bars disconnected, have a lot better articulation and all the tires are touching the ground okay so there you have it these uh, these quick disconnect links are going to be a game changer for rock crawling and You don't have to choose between stability when you're on the highway or running fast speeds and rock crawling. You can have your cake and eat it too. So you only have to disconnect one side. The other side stays intact. And they made them longer so that this can go up and down without interfering with anything. Now the rears, same thing. And I have A-arm guards installed, so it's literally, literally seconds to disconnect and reconnect these. Now be, keep in mind these rear links are in testing mode, so they're not available yet, but I'm going to push them because just in this, and I didn't rehearse this um, rock crawling um, test. I, uh, I just got a hair of my butt. Jesse sent me these and I wanted to test them. And man, are these going to be a game changer for, especially RMAX 4 owners with the rear sway bar. You can disconnect them, do your rock crawling, reconnect them when you get back on the, the fast stuff. And it makes a big difference.